Hello there, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about introduction to BEAM. So after the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand what is BIM. Then what is BIM in construction field? Then what is the advantages of BIM in construction field? After that, I will explain you that how BIM work in a construction project. So let's start. So now the first topic which we have to discuss here is what is BIM? So all of you know that BIM stands for Building, Information and Modeling. So before going through in depth about Building, Information, Modeling, first of all we have to see about this term which I have shown here. So what is Building? All of you tell me what do you understand by Building? Simple. Building is what? It is a structure such as a house, hospital, school, etc. with a roof and wall that is used as a place for people to live, work, to do activities, store things, etc. It is called as a building. Okay. Now, the next one is information. So, what is information here? Remember, the types of data which we need to construct the complete structure is called as a information. Let's say for example, suppose I want to construct the wall. So which type of data I need here before starting construction? So first of all, we have to know about the length of wall. Okay. Then what is the width of wall? Okay. Then how much height we have to maintain for this wall which you are creating? and which type of material we are using then only you can start your construction okay so to construct the wall we need this type of data same thing here if you are creating if you are constructing a structure or a building so the types of data which we need okay that is called as a information simple now the next term is modeling so what is modeling simple uh, you can say to represent to represent the building or to represent the structure based on complete information in 3d form is called as a modeling okay now come to our main topic what is beam so all of you know that beam stands for building information modeling so here see what is written beam is an intelligent software modeling process that architects, engineers and contractors can use to collaborate on a building design, construction and operation. As you know that commercial construction is a complex, complex process that involves hundreds of people from different specialties, architects, engineers, business professionals, contractors, trade people, construction worker and more. So without BIM, each of these individual has to work independently on a building and when they come together, they may find that their plan are incompatible. So sometimes problem are not discovered until the construction phase has already begun, leading to costly change order and setback in the timeline. So building information modeling enables real-time collaboration between everyone involved in a construction project and leading to massive improvement in cost, safety and efficiency. So as a result, BIM is one of the most influential construction trends today. Okay. Now see the next point is written here. BIM is a process of generation and management of digital representation of physical and functioning characteristic of buildings. So BIM is what? It is a process. Okay. And it represents the physical and functioning characteristics of building. And here you have to remember one more point that BIM is not a software. It is a process. Under BIM, we have a different types of software like Revit is one of the software of BIM, okay, BIM 360, Archicad, okay, or many like Navishwork, these all are the software of BIM, okay. Now, 
uh, it is BIM is the knowledge resource for information about a project. So BIM is used in construction management from design stage to the complete construction stage. So with the help of BIM, what you can do before starting the construction in site, you will get the all information because you will get the 3D model ready. Okay. Suppose uh, if you are working, if, if you are a MEP engineers, so what you have to do, uh, as we know that MEP stands for mechanical electrical plumbing. Under mechanical, we have to learn uh, we have to learn about the HVAC and firefighting services, then electrical services and plumbing services are there. So inside the building, we have to run MEP services. So before the construction is start in site, here you will get the detail means 3D model of that building and how much height architecture will give you means MEP to run your MEP services that also you will get here. So before starting the construction, you can run your MEP services as per uh, the height is given by you like silver space tolerances or you can say MEP service gap will be given by the architecture to run your services. So here in easy way you can prevent the clashes okay by using this beam. Now here the next is what is beam in construction field here we have to discuss see building information modeling in construction is a process that enables collaboration between all of the professional working on a building throughout its lifespan okay next uh, beam is used to create a realistic model of a building but unlike a simple drawing this model is aware of all of the building properties. For example, imagine that the architect adds a curve to the front of the building, but the software indicates this will cause a structure problem due to the materials used. So the engineer can then address this change by working on a different view of the same model. All of the different views of a building interact with each other integer intelligently and in real time so everyone is always aware of how their changes affect or you can say how their changes affect the rest of the building okay so this is beam in construction field now what is the advantages of beam in construction field here we have to discuss and i will show you that what is the advantage of being beam in mep services or mep system also so here you have to remember one point that building information modeling is quickly becoming one of the most important construction technology innovation because of its numerous advantages in terms of cost, safety and efficiency. Okay. So here we have to see that in that first it is written early detection of problem. Okay. This is the advantage. So conflicting elements in a building's design are identified during the modeling phase, preventing costly changes during construction. Okay. You can easily detect the problem with the help of this BIM concept. Next is written here. Next advantage is improvement in scheduling. So project elements can be sequenced more efficiently using intelligent modeling enabling the possibility for more systematic scheduling okay next construction automation so the task that can be easily automated are identified by the software leaving worker to focus on a specialized task okay then the next advantage is written here enhance construction processes so workflows are automatically generated by BIM software and uh, any changes made during construction automatically update the process for everyone on site okay so that is why it will enhance construction processes also next uh, this can increase worker safety okay uh, workers have direct access to specific information about each task leading to increase awareness of risk and focus so these are the advantages of beam in construction okay and 
the benefit of beam for mep system are particularly obvious when combined with architectural and structural elements so this allow you to not only see the system directly in the design space but also to collaborate with the team in real time quickly resolving any issue okay so when creating documentation in system you must enter a large number of diameter name and mark beam can fully automate this process at the touch of a button so these are the advantage okay now the next is how beam works in a con construction project so remember here uh, building information modeling uh, is used for the entire life span of a construction project from planning and design through construction and operation so at each stage along the way beam adds value for everyone involved in the project so building information modeling is useful at every stage of a construction project in that first stage is what design stage so in this stage what happen architecture architects and engineers create an intelligent 3d model of a building that reacts in real time to changes okay next stage is what workflow planning okay so in this stage everyone involved in the project can collaborate to make cost and timeline estimate while refining processes getting next stage is what construction stage so in this stage con contractors and construction workers refer to the model as they build uploading changes in real time then finally fourth one is last one operation stage in this stage what happen after construction uh, the model is given to the client and facilities manager enabling simplified building operation renovation and repairs so this is all about introduction to beam i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one